Okay, so uh, this is the last video of the series that I'm going to do. We're going to do photo collage text with Silhouette Studio. Um, I just did Photoshop and Illustrator, but if you don't have either of those, it can be done in Studio. I have a few more limitations, and it's a little bit, um, there's, there's a couple little tricks you need to do, but um, you can do it. It can be done. So, um, I'm going to open up a new document. Um, it's just the 12 by 12 inch size is what we're going to start with. And you pick your word. So I'm going to write glacier because that's what I've done for the rest of them. Whoop, that's not glacier. Um, just because the photos that I'm using are landscape photos that I took when we went to Glacier National Park. So I'm choosing that word today, but you could write whatever you want. Um, I like to use the font impact just because it's a simple plain font that's really thick so you could see more of the photos. And we're just gonna go ahead and make it nice and big here. And just because it drives me nuts to look at these outlines, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it so it's all black. So in order to do this, um, once you get your word written, um, you right click on it and you hit weld. You need them to be in paths and in individual letters in order to be able to put the photos into different letters. Um, basically with Silhouette, there's not a, a masking tool like there is in Photoshop or Illustrator. So uh, it's kind of a one and done. You can't edit it. I mean, you can hit undo and go back and change it. But once you've got it done, it's done. And how we're going to do it is by cropping. So we're going to basically turn every letter or every couple of letters into a cropped version of the photo. So they need to be in paths. And by right clicking and hitting weld, it turns them into a path for each letter. So it's the easiest way to work with. Now you, I just moved that, I don't wanna move that. Um, you can um, right click and hit uh, make compound path, but then it turns the whole word into one path. So you can only crop the whole word into one photo. So by doing them in individual paths for each letter, you can make it more of a collage. Um, unfortunately, without doing some kind of weird little tricks, uh, you really have to do a whole letter at a time. But that, that works okay. Um, it might not be as fun if you're using like the word mom, you can only use three photos. Um, but for a little bit bigger word, you can make it more of a collage. So um, we're going to zoom out and I'm going to start dropping in some photos. And let's, let's choose four or five photos here. So um, I zoom out because they, they get dropped in huge. We want to be able to um, make them smaller. Now, if you wanted to, there you can do, let me show you here. Um, away. You can drop a photo directly into a letter. Um, come on, I did it for a second. Okay, there, the eye. Uh, the only downfall with that is you can't really edit it very well. You can't change where it's zooming. So I don't like to do that, but you can do that if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to hit undo. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we're, we're going to keep going on, on the, the direction here that, that I want to show you. Just get a few pictures in. Okay, we'll start with this before it starts freaking out because I've got so many big photos in here. Um, I'm kind of a landscape photography junkie, so I have lots and lots and lots of photos that actually turn out quite beautiful inside of words. Okay, so we need to have the photos behind uh, behind your, your letters. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, send to back, and then you could start kind of placing them where you want want them just be careful not to actually move the letters because technically they're not all attached right now so you can move them around so you don't want to move them unless unless you do want them moved but but you don't want to mess up your your placement of the word there so we're going to go ahead 
I want this one to be all the way to the back. And I'm just going to put it over these. See what I'm kind of doing here is I'm picking which letter. So I can zoom in again. Basically, what you need to do is you need to select the photo and the letters at the same time that you want to turn in to just those letters. So you can kind of see my plan here. This is for these three letters, this one will be for those two, and this one will be for those two. So we're going to grab the E, hold down shift, and the R, and the photo. So all three are selected. Then come over here to the modify panel and hit crop and it just leaves what overlapped there. So we're gonna do the same thing, grab the photo, grab the two letters, crop, and now, now I don't have a bunch of layers, so we could just drag right over the top and grab the three letters and the photo, and hit crop. And then you have your collage there. Now, the, the reason why I don't use Silhouette for this particular project is because now you're stuck. So if you decide, no, I wanna move that over, you've gotta hit undo, and, and go back and move it and crop it again. But you could do that if you just take it a few letters at a time and move it around till you get it how you want. Um, but really for being free software, it does, it does a lot. And um, so what I'm gonna right, uh, right click on here and hit group, which I just did on my keyboard out of habit. I'm sorry, right click and hit group. And then what I like to do is I like to add a border to these, which you don't have to if you don't want to, but I want to show you how to do that in case you do want to. Um, so you can come over here. It's actually really easy in Silhouette. Um, there's the line line style panel over here. Um, you come over here and you choose black or whatever color you want. Go back over to the weight and then you just start getting it the thickness you want. And then that's it. It looks so pretty and it's easy to see. Um, you really don't have to do the outline. I just like to add the outline there. Anyway, uh, let me know if I missed anything or you have any additional questions um, and have fun with your little photo letters. Uh, thanks for watching.